So you're enjoying your morning coffee and you're gonna have a little sugar, not too much, just a little bit of sugar, that's it. And now you need to stir it around. You're not gonna put your finger in there. You're not a barbarian. You need a spoon, but you don't have a spoon? Not to worry, I'm your science guy. I can help you out. Just run to the garage and make this board. So you get a board, put holes in it. You put the cord in the board like this. That's to hold it up like a tray. This will hold your coffee cup with no problem at all. And you thought this wasn't gonna be a good idea. Now, Isaac Newton will help you mix the coffee. No worry at all. An object in motion will stay in motion until a force acts upon it. It's Newton's first law. All right, are you ready? <laughs> the cup should stay there as long as gravity doesn't win. An object in motion stays in motion until a force, a three, two, one, ho! <laughs> do you like it? This is, good. what about this way? This is a good way to do it, like, oh my gosh. And the crowd goes wild, would you look at that? Don't try this at home, try it at a friend's home, you know that. But that brings us to the second part. Isaac Newton would be so proud because anything worth doing is worth overdoing. That's right, brightly colored liquids because what says I care more to the kids when you're trying to impress them and get them excited about science than spinning around brightly colored liquids in your kitchen. So here we go. Now remember there's nothing sticky on the board. You just have to make sure that you don't go too slowly otherwise Gravity will win, look at that, look at that. Would you look at that? Now the spin is the scariest part because sometimes those glasses will fall. See, I thought it was just a trick until I was recently at a restaurant and you'll never guess what I saw. The waiter was serving using this tray right here. Look at this, tell me that's not cool. He actually had this, it's the same thing. So watch this, are you ready? <laughs> he did it. I've never tried it this way. Ready and oh, oh that oh, is awesome. And there it is. So what did we learn today? We learned that the waiter can get an extra special tip by doing something very cool. And number two, he shouldn't leave his little toys around unattended. I think I better take this back before he finds out because he has my credit card. I'm Steve Spangler and that's your Science Minute.